This is a demo for Hyperimport and uh, Hyperimport is actually a script that enables cloud-based download and imports into After Effects straight away. So let me give a demo. I have the browser open here and I have After Effects open on the right. So what I can do is actually if you go into Dropbox and copy a link, you can actually use Hyperimport and paste it. So I've actually pasted it over here, but actually if you go into the preferences folder, there is an option that allows you to auto paste the link from the clipboard. But it's actually a bit slower, so that's why I've disabled it and actually just paste the link myself. So after pasting it, what you can do is actually just press Ctrl Enter and it will download the file straight away to After Effects. So that is for a single download and import file to After Effects, simple and easy. But what if you have uh, a thousand assets to download? Well, Hyperimport does that as well, uh, easily. So what you can do is actually you can type in DL, ALL, download all. It actually comes with Hyperimport. So if you execute it, it will prompt a file selection screen. And when you select a CSV file that has all the links that you need to download, you will actually process it and download all the assets that you need. So it states found three footages because I only have three links in that CSV file and it actually download and import straight away. So other than assets like JPEG, PSD or AI, Hyperimport actually works with .zip as well. So let's say after you have done a project, you have collected the files, you zip it up and you want to download it again. So what Hyperimport does is actually Hyperimport will download the zip file and try to source for the .aep file inside the zip folder. If not, uh, then it will import the assets. So for example, in this Dropbox, I'll copy the link of this zip file. I'll launch hyperimport and paste the link and download. You see that found three footages they wish to import all footage is because what's included in this zip file is three images. So that is how Hyperimport manages zip file. There's another way to import files with Hyperimport. For example, if you need a logo to be used a thousand times in a day, you need to produce tons of videos and all of that videos have the same ending logo. So what you can do is, uh, for example, let's take it as this is a logo that I use every day. So I can just copy the link. I can go into the shortcuts, shortcut commands window. And what you can do is actually you can add it in the shortcuts. So I've actually added in here. You can paste the link here, give it a default action, which is download. Other default actions are also included in the hyper import guide. So please take a look over there. You can give it a shortcut command. For me, I've given it logo and uh, add in a description. This doesn't really matter. It's just something for you to remember what this is. So after doing that, you can actually just type in the shortcut as well. Uh, you don't have to go down to this list box over here by pressing a down arrow, although you can. But the whole thing about adding links in the shortcut commands is that you don't actually have to find them in the list box. You can just type in the shortcut. Let's say I type in logo over here and I just press enter. So I will actually bring in that logo straight away. So this is hyper import. Um, besides importing files, importing zip files, and uh, importing tons of files, actually hyper import can do functions as well. There are default actions that let's say you can select text layers. So after doing that, you select text layers. You can select inverse layers as well. These commands are also included in the guide, so you can check them out. Another thing about hyper import is that you can build your own functions and expressions library. So how you do that is by clicking on the preferences button and clicking on the preferences directory. There is a preference folder and a JXX folder. So whatever you put in in the functions and the expressions folder will be sourced and included in the shortcut commands by default. 
but it doesn't come with a shortcut command you can add it in yourself so after you edit in the files you auto source and list it here and uh, if you put in the shortcut commands you can just enter the shortcut press enter and it will execute if not you can just search uh, by the description name which is the file name of the JSX that you have included in the folder so this is how you can build your own library this is how you can import files with ease with hyper import and um, I'm also trying to add in new functions as well um, so that I can help motion graphics artists like myself to save time alright that's about it for hyper import version 1 uh, thank you for your time